we have a goal to fully complete and unlock everything in Modern Warfare 3. And today we start our journey with the campaign. We're going to get every achievement and all of the permanent items. And yes, these permanent items can be used in multiplayer zombies and Warzone as well. So we're going to get all this stuff and then we're going to showcase what they look like. If you want to follow us on our journey and watch us get all the camos for multiplayer and zombies, make sure to unlock the subscribe button. But with that, let's roll right in, starting with the achievements. So starting off with one of the easier missions. Oh, here we go. Two, one. All right, so now it's pitch black, but our night vision goggles. All we've got to do for this is get 12 kills while on the repel. One, two, three, four. Woo. Okay, I lost count. And there we go. That's 12. Death row unlocked. Have a feeling most people are going to get this achievement just by playing the campaign normally, not even knowing it exists. Because all you got to do is get 12 kills while on the repel. Moving on to precious cargo. Now we have to jump off of the crane and parachute and land on the Harbor Master's building. You know, I'm not quite sure which building that was again, but you know, we'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Parachute and... Yeah! Floater unlocked! So another extremely easy achievement, but this one's probably going to be a little bit more rare because most people aren't going to get this on their normal playthrough. But if they go back and try for it, super easy. Now we're on the reactor mission and the goal is simple. We have to destroy all three helicopters, but each time with a different armament, which means essentially with a different explosive. So yeah, we're going to do the first one the fun way. Ah, that should be enough C4. All right, let me out. Let me out. And she blows. There's one. Oh, well, this is going to come useful. All right, RPG this time. And of course, it's not going to just take one. There we go. Oh, I'll take the Sim Texas. Thank you very much. I'm on fire. So yeah, I was wrong. Armaments are kill streaks, so we can't just use any explosive. We've got to find uh, three different kill streaks and take these out. You know, you live and you learn. Aha, this is definitely a kill streak. No, it's an incendiary LMG. There's a Sam turret. Do you think if, uh, I mean, I know, I know Sam turrets usually get rid of things that are in the air, you know, like helicopters, but this helicopter is not in, what if I just, what if I place it like right here? What if I just, yeah, come on, Sam turret, do the thing, do the thing. Yeah, funny enough, I don't think it's going to work unless the, unless the bird's actually in the air. It's all right, Sam turret. You tried, you tried, you gave it your best. That's all we can ask for. Oh, what do we got here? A VTOL jet. Well, this is uh, this is going to provide to be helpful. Put this right here. Probably going to take out our Sam turret, which is sad. At least he did his job. Sorry, Sam turret. Okay, and for those following along at home, this is where we found the VTOL jet. It was right here on the map. Two more kill streaks. Oh, we got another kill streak up here. Oh, uh, well, we do. It's a UAV. You know, I'm, I'm glad to get a UAV. Don't think it's going to help us destroy a helicopter. Unless we can make it dive bomb the helicopter, but I don't think we can do that. <gasps> bomb drone. Ooh, okay. So there's a bomb drone right here. And now we can take this bomb drone and take it to that helicopter. We don't want to do it too far away because we want to be... Okay, this is definitely enough range. Actually, we'll do it from on top of the building. Oh, well, they had the same idea. All right, so get up here and then we... Right. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Huh. Well. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, at least we know where everything's at now. Wait a minute, hold on. We don't even need the bomb drone. Is that is that a cruise missile up here? <gasps> oh, dude, there's a mortar. Okay, well, we don't even need the bomb drone. There's a mortar right here. No thanks, bomb drone. And there we go. Yeah, and we don't even need that bomb drone because I saw earlier on our mini map, if we come right up here, right next to that building, uh, there's a stealth bomber. And I'm 99% sure that will be more than fine to take out the last one. So skip the bomb drone, not worth it. All right, so stealth bomber, and we're gonna call it right there. Now we get into position to watch. Hold on, let me set up my chair in the corner. No! Remember how I said we didn't need the bomb drone? Remember, remember how I went on the whole spiel about stealth bomber would be more than enough? I may or may not have been completely wrong. See, I never doubted you, Bomb Drone. This entire time, I knew I was going to need you. Okay, so here we go. We're going to RPG at once. All right, so Bomb Drone. Hi, right, bots. I am just going to come right through here. And wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Helo hat trick achievement unlocked. Easy. First try. First try. Oh, here we go. Payload. The best looking mission in the entire game. Now we've got to get five collaterals with the EBR without sounding the alarm. So one bullet, two kills, five times, no alarms. 
Uh, easy achievement. Okay, so we got a crouch. All right, so there's our first, our first set of baddies. I need you guys to essentially line up your heads. There we go. Well, okay, well, I, I see the issue here. Okay, so here we go, try it again. Woo, look at that. Two heads for the price of one. Oh, look at that. That is some, oh, no, 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 no. There we go, that is some beautiful head. Oh, his buddy didn't even know. We just domed his teammates. He didn't even know. So there's two. There's a watermelon. That's a lot of baddies in a small area, dude. Dang it. Oh, shoot. There's two dudes. You see me? Dude, come on. Game. I'm just trying to get... Huh. I'm just trying to take two heads at once, game. And I don't want to be seen. I just don't want anyone to see me taking double head, bro. Why is that too much to ask for? <gasps> oh. What if you kiss? Buds talking with each other. About to get domed at the same time. Da -da 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 through his neck, through your head. Two for one. Thank you very still. Shoot the melon. Woo! There we go, two for achievement unlocked. Yeah, this spot right here is goaded because you get the one here, the one there. Oh, there we go. You know, that was first try. <laughs> first try. Okay, deep cover. Now we've got to get the mayor's key card within 90 seconds. And I think that's from the time the game starts. So minute and a half, that's not a lot of time. Put our weapon away. All right, we've got to crouch. Because you know, there's nothing suspicious about someone just crouching across the entire entire base it doesn't say we have to i think once we get the key card we can die after right well we'll find out ah all right get beside the truck and we're just gonna run alongside the truck just run alongside the truck Bro. Oh. keep walking just keep walking nothing sus about me nothing sus about me just making my way downtown. Hey, look at you. Look at me. I'm walking around here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, 90 seconds. Where's the mayor? Okay, no one can see us shoot the mayor. Mayor, I need you to hurry. I got 90 seconds. I'm, I'm guessing we're at like 50-something seconds. Come on, mayor. Two for one. Give me that key card, baby. Well, didn't count. Dang it. So do I got to wait for him to go upstairs? There's a lot of people upstairs, but I've only got 90 seconds. I think it's been about... I think we still got 30 seconds left to spare. Okay. All right, Major. I need you to hurry and get up there. I've only got 90 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, give me the key card. Yes, back in the field, let's go. Yeah, sorry, Major, sorry, bud. But back in the field, unlocked. Beep, beep, coming through. Now we're on to Flashpoint. We have to shoot a gun out of the air before the terrorist catches it. And I'm not sure what part of the mission this is, and I don't want to look it up, so we're just going to go in blind. So if we see a gun in the air... Oh. Excuse me. We see a gun in the air that's being thrown towards an enemy. We have to shoot that gun out of the air. Looking for a gun in the air. All right, coming through, coming through. Oh, and enemies. Oh, but there's also civilians. Why do I have nades on this mission? Why do I have nades? Aha! <laughs> yeah, I know how to solve this puzzle. Yeah, I'll just... Oh. What if What if I just... Yeah. What if, what if I just... This will work, right? Wait, no shot! Oh! Um, I'm gutted with nades. I'm gutted with nades, ma'am. That was planned. I knew for a fact that nade was not going to kill you. I knew it was only going to take out the guy that specifically held you at gunpoint. You know, when in doubt, just throw nades. Completely calculated. All right, coming in. Yeah, I, I, I don't trust this. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust this. So what I didn't realize is there's a part of this mission you can completely skip. And every time I played this mission, I have skipped that part 
And that is the part where the achievement happened. So now we got to try it again. All right. So in the VIP lounge, this is where it happens. So every time I've entered this room, I've immediately lit up the paramedics. But there's an alternate cutscene where if you don't immediately blast these guys and you go to help. Yeah, you can actually help this dude, which didn't know. And he pulls out a gun. Wait, what? Did I miss it? Okay. So we don't help the dude. Okay. So we make sure we don't help this dude. Okay. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to shoot him either. We, we don't help him, don't shoot him. All right. You know this 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 whole mission was so much easier when I just shot everyone. Okay, so eventually if we wait, no, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna help. I'm I'm not gonna help. I'm not gonna help. I'm not no. Ooh. Oh, are you picking up a gun? Who's throwing the gun? Who's throwing the gun? Ah! Okay, so I saw the gun. I just missed it. All right. What if I get real close? What if I shoot it before it's in the air? No, it's got to be in the air. Okay. Okay. <sighs> You know, I'm making this way more. All right, we'll just, we'll just wait. We'll wait and we'll watch where the gun's going to be. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, you want to pick it up. Yes, you do. Yes. Shot block. That's what I thought, baby. That's what I, yeah. That's what I, you were going to, you were going to pick up this gun right here. You're going for this. Oh, first try. This next one's going to be explosive. Now we have to destroy all of the cars on Oligarch inside the mansion, which this is the mansion. So there's probably going to be a garage and blow up cars. I mean, sounds very simple. I don't think there's any way we're going to have issues on this. And we don't have to be stealthy. We can just run right up there. So I assume this is the garage because there's a fancy car in here. Oh, and this is the room with the golden AK. There are gold weapons in this campaign. Oligarch has two separate weapons. We'll show the other one in a second. And this has an underbarrel grenade launcher. So this could actually be really easy if we just hop out here we get them all oh this one's not blown up yet this is a strong little car yo think she'll notice complete all of the fancy cars gone with a little bit of help of our golden ak made it quite easy now this isn't part of the achievement but while we're here we should go ahead and get the other golden weapon uh our weapons i should say kimbo golden deagles there we go gold primary and then when we need it, gold secondary. Before this, we're gonna need a fast weapon. So probably a suppressed and a knife. That is definitely fast. So here we go, high rise. We have 45 seconds to get to the roof of high rise. Um, so we're just gonna go for it. Why would I take the ladder? We've got limited time and I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb instead of use the... Oh, so not starting off strong. Probably should just use the repel instead of trying to use the ladder. Probably save us a ton of time. Once again, don't have a timer for this, nor do I have a pathway that I plan on running, but we're just gonna... Um, upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. 45 seconds, baby. Oh, that's a lot of distance. That's a lot of distance. Yep. No, 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 no. Come on, I see the roof. I'm sorry, enemies. I really don't have time for you. Price move! I got to get on this roof, Price. Move that ass. No. Al, didn't get it. I blame Price and his ass for that. I really don't have time for this. Excuse me. No. Oh. It says to go this way, but I really do think this is the move. I think going this way is, is what's going to get us there in time. Oh, elevator out of order. There we go. I guess, it, I, I guess all you have to do is get right here in 45 seconds. So, okay. So we can't blame Price. It was all our fault because we get the achievement before Price slowly walks up the ladder. I'd still like to blame Price and his ass, but we got it. Elevator out of order. Easy GG. Moving on to Frozen Tundra. Now we've got to execute one of those snipers. A little bit of finishing move action. Once again, doesn't sound that hard. Knock on wood. Got to find this guy and we got to finish him. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, come on. We got to sneak up on him. Oh, oh, ah. Easy peasy. In the dome. No angel. Achievement unlocked. Woo. Oh, and then. Oh, I'm sorry. So, all right. Gora Dam, we have to defuse the bomb that's on the truck while it's in motion. And there's the truck. So is it, is it going to be this simple? Can we just, this might be our fastest achievement yet. No shot. No, 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 no. <laughs> You know, oh, come on, come on. This could have been so much more simple. Well, there we go. Uh, hitchhiker achievement unlocked. Could have been a really, really, really quick 
achievement if I didn't miss it and then accidentally stop the defuse, but st still our quickest yet. Now on Danger Close, another really easy achievement. Uh, we've got to kill a single enemy with the big missile in the AC-130. So take out this guy, leave one left. Now we get the big Predator missile and we're gonna take this just on one dude. And there we go, your tax dollars at work. All you have to do is leave one enemy left and you gotta use the big Predator missile one, take them out and uh, another easy, quick achievement. So let's go ahead and edit our loadout and boom, there we go, dialed in. For this achievement, all you have to do is edit your loadout on every single open combat mission. So once you've done all the missions, beat all the campaign missions, you just gotta edit your class on each one and this achievement is unlocked. This next achievement sounds pretty fun. First, we've gotta find a propane tank which I'm pretty sure they spawn on this mission. At least I hope they do. Back on Gorod Dam, I know for a fact there's propane tanks on this map. We just gotta find it. But I've definitely seen one oh, right there. Okay, so we're still stealthy. We're gonna pick up the propane. Looking for propane and propane accessories. All right, watch this. A little bit di farther distance. Smack them. And blast them! Achievement unlocked. Hey, catch. Easy. All right, now we got another one. We gotta get kills while on a zip line. There's one. Yeah, I have a feeling this mission's probably gonna be easier to do on high rise. I mean, it sounds simple. We just gotta get 10 kills while on a zip line. Oh, here we go. All right, so zip. All right. Excuse me, enemies. I am legitimately just looking for zip. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. Yes. No. No. Uh -uh. So I'm looking for this zip line right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. I really don't want any beef right now. I just wanna be on the zip line. That's where I want. You know, I wished for a zip line with a lot of enemies, and now I have that, and now it's too many enemies. All right, here goes nothing. Of course they got riot shields. Oh, how convenient. This lined up for me. All right, so come over here. We got the easy two dudes that just line. Oh, three dudes, four dudes. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, there we go. High wire act, achievement unlocked. Very, very easy. Okay, for the next achievement, we've got a base jump 150 meters using a parachute. And I assume this is gonna be really easy on the dam map. Uh, maybe we wanna start over here on this corner. Hopefully I'm not, oh, wait, oh, hey, there's a bomb drone up here. Cool. Uh, hopefully I'm not overcomplicating this. I think it should be pretty simple, right? I mean, I just gotta, I got 150 meters, right? Can I ping? How far is that? That's 212 meters. If we can make it over, all right. We're just gonna go, right, right. This is a long distance. I just don't want to fly out of zone. We just gotta, we gotta stay in zone. All right? So we're still in zone. That's a lot of meters. We still, oh, no, 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 no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 stay in zone. Stay, stay in zone. Stay in zone. Ah, oh, we got it. Frequent flyer. No, no. Okay, well, um, well, the achievement was unlocked. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> We got the achievement, right? That's, that's all that matters. Well, it's probably a good thing we died and respawned. The next achievement's gonna be really easy on this map as well. We've gotta spot 60 things using the spotter scope. And this is a nice open area to just sit and spot. So there's one, two. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is definitely the best map for this. Okay, well now that they're all spotted, if we just jump down, right, and fail this. Oh, that wasn't a fail. Oh, I live. Oh no. So we die, respawn. And we do it all again. One, two. I mean, it didn't say spot 60 unique enemies. It just said spot 60 enemies and equipment. Our equipment. So I think honestly just doing this a couple times will be enough for 60. Oh, there we go. Tag, your it. Achievement unlocked. Uh, once again, very easy to farm. Load on this map. Ping a bunch of people. Fall to your death. Rinse and repeat like three times and you got an achievement. For the next one, we're going to play Crash Sight and we're going to put on a shock stick. All right, we've got to find a sentry gun. Pretty sure there was a sentry gun on this mission. Oh, here's a sentry gun, but this is ours. I need an enemy sentry gun. Here we go. All right, so enemy sentry gun, shock stick. There we go. Have you tried turning it off and on? Achievement unlocked. Once again, super simple. Play Crash Sight, spawn with a shock stick. Come to this spot on the map right where I'm at and then hit this with a shock stick and you're good to go. For the next achievement, we're gonna play Crash Sight again because I have a method that I think is gonna work pretty easy on this. Once again, it involves sentry guns, but this time it's our sentry gun. All right, so clear out the enemies. I will take this. Okay, now we're gonna head to this vehicle and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna pull out a sentry gun. Hold on. Valid placement, okay. And now we get in it. All right, sentry gun, start mowing them down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's gotta get five kills. Five kills. Come on, sentry gun, I believe in you. I'm gonna drive, you shoot. Don't, 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 don't focus on the guy with a bunch of armor. Get the guys with no armor. 
There we go. I call shotgun achievement unlocked. All you got to do, put a sentry gun on the back of a vehicle and then have it kill five enemies and you're good. And this map makes it super simple because that sentry gun always spawns and this vehicle always spawns. So you can get it right away. This next achievement seems like it's going to be very hard. And there's only one way I can even think to do this. We're headed back on reactor. We're going to get the mortar strike here because we have to destroy a airborne enemy helicopter with a mortar strike. So if we land up here, there we go. There's a mortar strike. And I think we've got to destroy one of the planes before the helicopter spawns in. So we'll take out this. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's one. All right, they sounded the alarm. I'm wondering if I should weaken the heli first. All right, all right. Come on. Oh, no. All right, so let's weaken it just a tad bit. All right, so it's weak. It's weak. We see the smoke. We're gonna wait for it to stop. And the second it stops, we call the sucker. Oh, did it fly away? This one seems to stay in place for a bit too. All right, come on. Come on, stay right there. Stay right there, don't move! I'm gonna call it a little bit farther back. A little bit farther back. A little bit farther back. Come on, please move. A little bit farther back this time. Come on, come on. Dude, one of those missiles, please hit. Please hit. Come on, it's weak. Come on, one mortar. One mortar has to hit it. Five hours later. Is he stuck? Is he still... Just... Sometimes he just sits in one spot for such a long time. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! That's one way to do it. Let's go, baby. Oh, my. This was by far the worst achievement. And we have an extra. Oh, uh, sometimes he eventually just sits in one spot for long enough and that's i mean that's how we eventually got it so i think it's when there's something above him like he was kind of chilling there with the crane and he kind of slows down a lot when there's something above him so getting him below the crane that achievement is now done oh my now this is where things start to get really different all three of the next achievements we're going to do involve open combat mission and finding stuff we've got to find and use all the armaments which are kill streaks in the open combat missions I'm not sure if it's used one of each type or legitimately find every single spawn location and use them all. Uh, hopefully it's just one of each type. Then we've got to collect all weapons and field upgrades from supply boxes and open combat missions. And that's all of them, not just one of the missions. Then we have to find all plate carrier upgrades and open combat missions as well. So I guess it makes the most sense to do these in order. So this is precious cargo. We'll do this one first. And if we pause, we can see weapons and items discovered 11 out of 22. Those are the orange crates. So on our first playthrough, we managed to get about half of them. We got to get 10 more. So that means we've gotten the easy ones and we're missing the hard one. Fun. In here, maybe? What? Oh, what? This is not what I was looking for. <laughs> well, I guess we can use the kill streaks. Lucky for us, the kill streaks show up on the map, even if you've never picked them up before. Because I can assure you, I did not get this UAV my last playthrough. I think eventually the chest light up as well. Oh, here's a sentry gun. All right, slap this sucker down. I'm pretty sure as you get close to an orange container you haven't opened yet, it shows up on the mini map. So if we just kind of... How are we still missing so many on this map? This makes no sense to me. See, I've already got this one. You know, I thought this was going to be relatively easy. I have been in this for like five minutes now and I haven't found a single one. Oh, here's one. Cool, RPK. And now, now that we got one... 12 out of 21. Holy, this is, this is, this is going to be, um, this is going to take a minute. Five minutes later. Oh, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. Cool. The pl 13. Silenced expedite. Oh, opens. Oh, there we go. Oh, the GS Magna, the full auto deagle. So I'm guessing the majority of what I'm missing is just spread in a bunch of different crates. Like right here. That was a bomb drone. Oh, cool. Probably, yep, here we go. Silenced rival, just what I wanted. So now we're at 16 out of 21. So yeah, it's essentially just looking in containers. Dude, another bomb drone. Holy. Montage. You know when you've walked in the same area for like the fifth time and now you're hoping for a different result? That's where we're at right now. Cool, heartbeat sensor unlocked. Signal 50, baby. Woo, Bass B. Okay, so we've already been in here. Oh, cool. It was in a building we've already been in. Well, there we go. 21 out of 21. You know, I honestly would have been fine if I never had to play this map again. But here we are. Okay, 29. We got to find 29 of those suckers on this map. Two hours later. So I think the red X is like a signal that, hey, there's a crate nearby. Because I, I, I picked up on that. from. My, how do I get down here, though? 
We gotta. Oh, we blow the door. You can also just shoot it. Uh huh. That one's crazy hidden. All right, there's two. Ooh, now I see why this one was a little bit more complicated. Gives us a little bit better reward. You're up here with my VTOL. Oh, there's three. Thank you. So what are we missing? We are missing a sniper and a pistol. So a sniper is going to be up someplace high. I feel like the crane is, you know, an obvious spot to put something. Oh, let me guess. It's the sniper, baby. Let me guess. Yeah, there we go. You know, reasoning. Reasoning. Now, when it comes to the pistol, um, that, that could be just about anywhere. Uh, they can't really use, you know, reasoning for that one. There's no worse feeling than being one away and knowing that it could be anywhere on the entire map. So, yeah, you're so close, yet so far, it, it could be anywhere. Oh, that's it. There we go. Look at that. Silenced core 45. And with that, 29 out of 29. All right, back on crash site, and somehow I managed to get 9 out of 10 on my other playthroughs to this. So we legitimately just have to find one crate, and we are good to go on this bad boy. Well, we take the easy wins. We take the easy wins, baby. All right, Silence Victus. Now let me check. 10 out of 10. I take it. Oh, wait, but we don't have all the armor slots unlocked. Oh, we're still missing. We've only got 2 out of 3 armor, so we're still missing an armor thing. And that could be anywhere. There's no shot it's in a building. I scoured these buildings. I mean, this house is so nasty and it's just so cluttered. Maybe the armor's hiding in plain sight. I've been in this room like six times. Oh, cool. You can climb the tree. It's not really going to help me get what I need, but... <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Bulletproof achievement unlocked. How was this that hard? It was just in here. I just didn't realize that there was a different connector for the house. Yeah, okay. Well, that one's done. Oh, cool. Minigun, again. All right, another one in the night vision area. Where? There we go. What do we got? Silence cast off. Are we just missing one? We're legitimately just missing one more. Now, where is that last one? Couldn't tell you. I'm missing the PDW weapon that I must acquire. Because Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's shown on the map right there. Apparently, I passed it. I just... Is it up top? Is it? Oh, God dang it. No way. It's been right. Okay, so it's not that window. This window. You just you just shoot it and you... Oh, all that for a PDW with the, with the holotherm on it. Beautiful. Now for the last open combat mission, the damn one. How many more do we need? Eight out of 21. So we got a lot, a lot to find. Wonder if this is a battle rifle. I really hope we get some good battle rifles in this game. I think we can all agree the battle rifles in um in Modern Warfare 2 were very lackluster. There's an RGL. There's an armor box. Another double chest room. Okay, a hive. Ooh, look at that camo. Okay, we'll take it. Recon drone, we'll take it. We are missing a lot on this, but we're finding a lot of areas that are, you know, double decked on the chest, which, you know, helps cut away. It makes the amount pretty much half. Oh, another one down here. All right. Did I, this is, this is too easy right now. 19 out of 21. We're going to get one more and that last one is going to be so hard to find. We're two away. I guarantee you there's one like super hidden in the water. Got to do a three stage Easter egg for the passcode with Morse code and geometry and astrophysics. Can I go on this island? Oh, I can. What's here? Oh! Oh, a chop! I have not used this kill streak before. That's helpful. Oh, and there we go. No such thing as too many. So yes, you don't have to use every single kill streak on every map. You just have to use one of each type of kill streak. And the reason it took us so long to get it is because I think this is the only map that has a chopper gunner. So that island where we're at right now has the chopper gunner, and that's probably the one you're missing. But we have now used every single kill streak. So there's one achievement, one more to go on this map. That's a lot of enemies. Oh my. Now we're just missing two crates. Surprisingly, they don't really put any on the outskirts of the map. I say that, but there's going to be one in here. Usually they like to keep them towards the middle. Oh, here's one. Silent Striker and a cruise missile. I mean, would Sledgehammer just put a random chest in the middle of the water? I mean, I'm not saying they wouldn't. No, sh it was in the building. It was... It I, I, I have been looking for this for a while now. I have, I've scoured this map, and it turns out there was a triple triple chest lineup that I missed. There we go. Gearhead unlocked. All of the crates. I don't know, 100 plus of them? I don't, I'm not going to add them up. Someone else can do the total. But however many crates, maybe not quite 180-something, have been unlocked. Achievement is gotten.
Well, we've made it to the end. One more campaign achievement remains, and it is uh, complete the campaign on veterans. So now we got to play every single mission again, but this time on the uh, hardest difficulty. Yes, I would like to um, veteran, please. I mean, how hard could it be, right? Going down the elevator. Hi there. I got that go to hip fire. Don't even try me. Yeah. That's what happens if you use a riot shield. Where am I supposed to go? I gotta wait. Come on, let's go, Bravo. Let's go. come on, Bravo One. Let's go. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to get through this sucker. I'm ready to get this last achievement out the way. Ah, more riot shielders. Nope, 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 nope. That terrible aim. I, I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Bro, I wasn't reload. Oh, that was bad. I'm. Oh, great. Now I gotta wait on slow team six again. Come on, let's go. Veteran campaign is just like the normal campaign, except we're supposed to slide cancel and. Do the, the weird motion thing in the sky. And there we go. Mission number one, a finished up. All right, back to the beautiful mission. Gotta get the key card. Am I still stealth after all those kills? Oh, dang, the one. Nah, we ain't stealth anymore. Damn. One thing I've noticed, it feels like campaign has a lot less um, aim assist than MP does. Oh, forgot. Jugs exist. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Time limit and jugs. Woo-wee. There's another juggernaut. Dude, RPK does not care about if it's a juggernaut. Get it a jug or not. Oh, there's campers. Enemies are too close. Where? Woo. Another mission down, baby. Back in the stadium. Okay, this time we're ready for it. I do not like how this mission starts with an F with a hurricane and single fire. All right, so first thing we do is put this in full auto. I don't know why they... Damn, okay, never mind. I don't know why it starts you off with an F... FSS hurricane. That's in single fire. You know, an SMG that does very little damage. It thinks it's a good idea to start this with... Yeah, it's got 50 bullets, but this is single fire? I, I don't know about that. What the f***? <laughs> Did the grenade launchers hurt the casuals? I called them casuals. Hurt the civilians? Oh, they don't even seem to hurt the baddies. All right, I got a pistol bullet. Hey. No time for questions. Where? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's got a shield to me. The fuck? Whew. Yeah, I have a feeling this part's gonna be pretty annoying on veteran. Mainly because I know there's juggernauts coming up, and so that's gonna be real fun. This spot's so good for taking out the jugs. I just, yeah. Struggling with this mission on veteran. Come here, um, and then just lay down the enemies. LMG goes hard. Number. Nine, nine, nine. Both at the same time. Yeah, there's not a bullet in the chamber, dumbass. Oh, I forgot Makarov has magic. Oh, he's so hard to fight. Oh, right, come on, we caught it, we caught it! The red wire, okay, what? Now we switch sides. Does it really explode if we just don't do anything? Ah, oh, it's getting louder and scaring me, I'm just gonna cut it. Find the red wire. Red only, so i we cut together on three, copy? Rog, on three. I may have waited too long. Three. Boom, there we go. Achievement one for one, ready. We also got the never bury your enemies alive achievement. This is just for beating the campaign normally, but if you beat it on veteran, you get both at the same time, one for one ready and never bury your enemies alive. So that is all of the achievements. There's still more achievements, but these aren't campaign achievements. Uh, this is multiplayer and the rest are zombies. We did get some permanent rewards that are usable in multiplayer and zombies. So we'll go over those real quick. 
these are just for beating the missions you don't have to beat these on veteran you don't have to collect all the stuff if you beat the first mission you get this calling card you beat the second mission you get 30 minutes of xp and 30 minutes of double weapon xp you get the corso operator for beating the third mission for beating this mission you get a calling card for beating the deep cover mission you get 30 minutes of double xp and 30 minutes of double weapon xp uh passenger gives you no rewards crash sites gives you the pathfinder operator uh finishing flashpoint you get toxic drip calling card for finishing oligarch you get an hour of double xp and an hour of double weapon xp for finishing high rise you get the dock operator uh for finishing frozen tundra you get a calling card for finishing uh gora dam you get one hour double xp and one hour double weapon xp for finishing danger close you get jabber then for beating the final mission trojan horse you get a blueprint um it looks to be for one of the ar i think it's that burst ar and you get the soapy emblem so that's pretty cool and that says johnny on it uh the cool thing about these operators if this works like modern warfare 2 each one of these operators are going to have a finishing move assigned to them so unlocking this operator is also going to unlock you a finishing move so you have four new additional finishing moves on top of that but uh we won't find out till multiplayer launches with that guys we're gonna wrap this up let me know how you feel about all the achievements are you gonna go through do all the achievements yourself this took us about i mean the game hasn't even been out for it's been out for about 24 hours we were able to go through beat it and then go back through beat it do all the achievements and beat it on veteran and now we are ready we're pretty much done with the campaign nothing less for us to do until the launch of multiplayer if you want to see any coverage for multiplayer zombies we're going to do the same thing we did for the campaign we're going to fully complete everything make videos on it make sure to unlock that sub button camel grind coming soon